Hi everybody, I am a person who believes that before working for a brand, you need to be your brand within yourself. And so Neda Ma'am, you are the perfect example for that. As you have spent 10 years in Indian Air Force and now you are working in as a civilian, you are running an organization. Hashtag support Saturday, you know you are the perfect example which shows you are you were a brand within you and now you are working for a brand. So I am so happy to have you here with me. Thank you so much Asa, pleasure is all mine and I am really glad to be connecting with you today and looking forward to this conversation. Yeah, so ma'am I would really really want to ask what is the difference you feel in the defence life and now as a civilian? Yeah, so uh, you know this is something that I really come across uh, a lot many times because I have I had the privilege or I was lucky enough to spend those ten years with Air Force. Uh, I would say there are a lot of differences, and sometimes I feel there's none. You know, it, it really depends that uh, where you are, what you are looking at. Sometimes, uh, definitely in my work culture, uh, wherein you know uh, the civil corporate life culture, I would say it's it's. Great friend, the way we work, the way we address each other, or the uh, environment in in the company, right? Uh, how it was back in Air Force was more like more cohesive, I would say, because you have to uh, they say right that you have to do and die together. Uh, though not all of us have to be on the front, but uh, the uh, kind the kind of training that we get in forces, you know, that instills in us that. The training itself is like that, that you work like a team and you work together. However, uh, in corporate also, there are, there are teams, but then uh, they, they are a little different, you know, the way we work in uh, defense. So I would say the best thing that uh, any Fauji would relate to or, you know, will echo is that we all become very agile because the kind of training and the kind of uh, things that we face in defense service, uh, the whole environment is so dynamic and it's changing at every time. And even you prepare for the worst or for the best, but there will always be a, you know, an element of surprise. So I guess, uh, you know, you, you can't be sure of what it, that element would be, but it definitely trains you to take that on and uh, do not let your spirit down and, you know, keep going on because there will always be hurdles when you are moving forward. Okay, so ma'am, you know, I recently appeared for SSB and my GTO instructor, he told me that here we are measuring, we are not, you know, measuring your capabilities, we are assessing your personality. So ma'am, what advice and tips would you like to give for the young people like me who are, you know, spotting their future in the sky? Uh, I would say not only for SSB, Astha, I mean, uh, yeah. now that almost yeah. I've spent two years in, in civil also, so I would say that's everywhere because skill is something which can be developed, right? Any skill, let it be physical or any programming or anything, but your aptitude or your attitude towards that, you know, learning, whether you are ready to go for that grill or are you, you know, ready to do it or take it on or challenge your own self, that that is what helps or that is what is being judged because if you're not able to run so many kilometers in so much time today, maybe with practice you will be, right? But if you, you are a person who doesn't want to do it or who thinks that I'm not capable of doing it, might not be able to go for it. So I, I would say that uh, that holds true across the board. If you are uh, convinced that you can do it and you're ready to go through the grill, I, I guess you, uh, you, know, you, you can achieve anything. So it's more the same in every other field. Yeah, of course. I mean, sometimes, yes, the requirements or, you know, the way the civil world works is that you do not have that much. Sometimes few of the roles are like that you do not have that much uh, window or, uh, you know, uh, and that much time to train somebody. But uh, and then you look for ready made resources who are available. But for defense, I would say, uh, yes, the capability is a secondary thing. But if you have the personality to go on, they will, uh, you know, somehow teach you the ways of defense because the trainings are very extensive and uh, they are designed very, uh, you know, as per the, uh, which will, I mean, even if it's a one, in, one year or one and a half years of training, it changes your personality, uh, the way you look at life and the way you take on challenges uh, in your career or in your personal life, I would say. Okay, so ma'am, uh, like you are now in a civil life, corporate life, so what is the thing you really like here? 
of course the pride of the uniform you won't find here the the prestigious institution like defense services but something which you really like here the corporate world um i personally liked here that you can challenge things more openly because uh, defense uh, system the way they work it's it's more hierarchical and uh, you know uh, there there is a way that you can challenge and that's because it's um, the outcome or the result that they are looking for is a little different uh, the you know strategic decisions are more at the higher level but here in uh, corporate i guess you have more uh, place or space to voice your opinion or you know put across your ideas so i guess that that's what i like the most uh, it, it's not necessary that they'll you know take on what you're saying but if it, you will not be looked down upon that you do not have a relevant experience or you're just a you know new person so that that is something which is different but that's essentially different because both the uh, the aim of both the organizations or the way we work is very very different so what is your favorite book a uh, book i i i'm not into reading Indeed. much nowadays i would say okay so uh, i have read few fictions and i uh, uh that that's a little tough question is <laughs> these days even the, uh, the topics or the short stories are so much in, on the internet or uh, you know because life is so fast paced that uh, and right now i'm doing my another course from i am so the best books are the case studies <laughs> that i'm uh, reading most of the times these days fun part of it let's let's see what's in your bag <laughs> Oh my bag is full of a lot of things i would say it depends uh, first it depends on where i'm heading to okay uh, though we are not going to office much these days but yeah let's let's take it to office i will have my wallet my uh, you know ca- uh, credit card debit card uh, aadhar card pan card <laughs> a few photographs and uh, uh, rc of the car uh, keys uh, especially extra set of uh, uh sanitizer and and uh, masks so the, these are few of the essentials which i cannot step out you know without without these things because this thing anything if you miss you can still take or buy you know the, these are few of the things which need to be there with you all the time that's really cool and now uh, i would really want to ask one more thing about the linkedin i saw hashtag support saturday the for the professionals and i think by the professionals and right. something really attractive which i came across like people have lost so many of their have lost their jobs in this pandemic and you are really supporting them so how has been the journey so far Uh, i would say it's been beautiful and you know i'm really happy that people are recognizing us uh, because it it's uh, like you actually said you know it's it's a movement by the professionals for the professionals uh, so few people almost initially we were i guess 25 of us who came together through linkedin with, who have not i i guess there will be very few who would have met each other otherwise so um, um uh, there's uh, poonam vijay thakkar and uh, mr vinod he he uh, you know came they both came across and uh, they found few people who can act as ambassadors or the founding ambassadors for hashtag #support saturdays and uh, we started back on 15th of august last year and the idea was very uh, you know correct that maybe in whichever way that we are using social media so much then uh, why not use it to its uh true potential which can be uh, tapped you know uh, from that and i'm happy to announce that we already have a lot of success stories and uh, we started with maybe 20 25 people and today we are almost uh, close to 75 and we see this uh, group even growing more more people are coming together to help or to extend help and also a lot of people have got their jobs if if people have not got their jobs uh, not everyone uh but uh you know people at least got connected to right uh, kind of people they they are getting good mentors they are getting to know that what they can change in their cvs or what they can uh you know uh, what skills they can acquire for to bag a particular job so yeah i, I guess because anything starting from when you're thinking of getting a job till getting a job is is a lo- long long process you can uh, you know fail or uh, take a step back at any of the uh, 
uh, any of these steps so yeah it, it's a long journey so i would say you know it's a testimonial in itself that we already have so many success stories and we are keeping our fingers crossed that this community keeps helping the professionals uh, you know as much as we can in our personal capacities i wish you all the good luck for this thank you so much aastha